Welcome back to Royal Jewelers here in St. Matthews. Catching up with Mark Lampkin. You know, let's talk some money figures, Always right? Right. While we're here spending all our money, <laughs> of course, right? I feel like, Mark, there's just been a lot of financial news uh, here recently. You know, it's the holiday season. People are out shopping. I mean, it seems like consumer confidence is really up. You know, nobody's went broke betting against the American consumer, right? Mm -hmm. The last couple of years, Christmas spending has been up 10 to 13%. A little bit wobbly this year. It's only yeah. expected to rise six to eight percent. But with everything that we're facing right now, a Pretty six good. to eight percent is a on a billion dollar number is a really big deal. So consumer confidence is up, and prices are starting to come back down a little bit. You know, and in big headlines, those gas prices we're starting to see kind of inch down, and I feel like that. I see those gas prices come down. I'm like, okay, maybe I can book that trip. Maybe <laughs> I can make it. To, you know, next year I can make big plans. There's going to be more automobile traveling. You know, jet fuel and diesel prices are way up. Mm -hmm. So gas prices are down, so there'll be uh, more, not, not as many flights, but people are still gonna travel. Right. People are still gonna spend money. People are still gonna do Christmas, but maybe not the high-end items. Exactly. We're seeing more of the mid to lower level items that people are spending a lot of money on and, um, and, and experiences. Yeah. People are spending time to travel with family. See, you do that. Like instead of your holiday shopping, you said you'll do an experience with the family, a trip. That's exactly right. We don't buy presents any longer for the family. Now, of course, Emma Grace, I do, if right? Of course, you have to. But for She's the not wife. gonna understand the experience <laughs> just yet at two, at two. Yeah, the wife and kids, we, you know, we went to Mexico Mexico last year had a great time. Um, this year, I might have to go to Destin and rent a trailer. That's okay. It's still an experience. <laughs> I want to see a picture of that. <laughs> I want to see you in a trailer. <laughs> yeah. Whether it's experience or stuff, but consumer confidence is still there. Yeah. And my clients are talking about still spending money. They're not scared. Mm -hmm. They're they're cautious. They're cautiously optimistic. Well, I feel like all, all year long you've been talking about that. It's like, okay, don't go crazy, folks. Let's just let's just be be thoughtful Take during the breath. holidays. Yeah. Take a breath. And we talked about it a little bit yesterday. It's and if you shop right. You know, the, we talked about like the Ebates, which is Rocky Tune. Yeah. You get you get that money back, or retail me not. You get those codes off. You can save. 10 to 30, 40 percent. Go to your website, look at our thing yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, I'll save you 30, 40, 50 percent on some of these items that you can save a lot of money on. So, yeah, there's ways help. certainly to save. Well, let's talk jewelry because, you know, when it's about jewelry, I'm all in, all out. And I know that when people want to buy a special ring, like an engagement ring, they know it's, they know right up front, okay, that's going to cost me a lot, but is it also a good investment or should you keep some things in mind when buying expensive jewelry or the engagement right. ring? Well, I got, I got to share this with you. So okay. back to beers, Excited. 1943, right? Um, diamonds are forever. Mm -hmm. The most successful advertising slogan ever. Yeah. 77 years. They went from $23 million in sales in 1943 to last year of $2.1 billion mm -hmm. using that slogan. So, and they actually came up with two months of salary for an engagement ring. And when mm. they went from 20% people buying diamonds for engagement ring to 80% with just that slogan and that two month salary. How about that? Isn't right. that funny? Yeah. yeah. So investment wise, I think um, I went and looked this morning about 5% a year is the normal average return. Yeah. But you got to be careful where you're buying them. You know, if mm -hmm. you're buying them wholesale, fine. If you're buying them retail, you're buying them for the wife or your daughter or Christmas presents. You may not make a lot of money on those, but they're going to hold their value because they're still becoming more rare. Right. I mean, and that's why we're here too at Royal Jewelers. It's like right. community matters. You know, knowing the name and the people and that you can trust here because I always get so nervous when people say oh I found it at like a swap meet or yeah. and I'm like okay well good luck with that being real right I mean you know it's not a good a good investment I was know. telling Elizabeth like Jennifer for the first year had this beautiful cubic zirconia ring she didn't even know she took it to get it cleaned and no, then I had to buy it Mark diamond. no That's, you're I making that up stop it. <laughs> stop it but it was way cheap and beautiful listen you just put that out there and Jennifer's thinking Mark is at Royal Jewelers and he better come back am I right he better come back with something big I always do I'll have to now I'll take care well, of don't her. forget Grace and I are here too <laughs> <laughs> Kim's here everybody's here so you gotta oh, buy this is a great stuff. place I've been looking around and yeah. there, there are a ton of stuff here that I, yeah. I could buy and I would go broke here if I stayed much longer right. it's it's a great place all right and uh, before we wrap up you know we, we are here because of the big UK uh, UK Michigan right. game and uh, you have just an interesting backstory because you went to U of L but everybody in your family <laughs> went to UK. Four generations of women oh, went to UK. Both that? my kids, my wife. I've paid for two UK educations, and I'm in red and black. Yeah. I'm the house of Ida. But, but. I, you know, if they play each other, I'm a Louisville fan. Other yeah. than that, I'm a Kentucky fan. Yeah. I love, I'll root for the Cats all day long, and they're going to London. 
They've never been in the regular I think season. That's a, bit, that's a very, very, very big deal. When you have a lot of these teams, they arrive there this morning, they're practicing, they're warming up ahead of this weekend's game. I just think it puts us on the map, right? Like it's everybody's national. talking about it. Yeah. Anything, we need every university in Kentucky yeah. to do well, right? 1948 is the only time UK has been to um, London to play basketball, and that was in, during the Olympics, and they mm. rode through the Olympics, and so that was the only time they've been there. But regular season, they've never been. Michigan and Kentucky this time, they're 50-50 on the betting. Yeah. Uh, ESPN says Big Kentucky's game. got about an 85% chance of winning. Should be a one to three point spread favor in UK. Yeah. And fact, Juwan Howard, the coach of Michigan, huh. is the last time UK lost to Michigan was in 1993 Final Four, mm -hmm. and Juwan Howard hit the shot to put him out. There you go. Make your bets now. <laughs> get to buying. I like this ring. I wow. like these earrings. Just saying. <laughs> dropping a hit there. Hey, if you want to get in touch with Mark, all you have to do is head over to LampkinWealth.com. Stay with us.